Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do one question on bearings or using bearings. And this is a question of excellence type or excellence level uh, on the topic of geometric reasoning in, in ZQA. Level 1. Okay, so what do I mean? Okay, so let us read the question first. Uh, a helicopter leaves the, the airport at town A on a sightseeing flight and flies on a bearing of 205 degrees for 48 kilometers until reaching point B. So whenever you have the word bearing, bearing is always with respect to north to the right. So let me write it. To the north, okay, to, okay. Bearing, whenever you have here the word bearing, Okay, that is always with respect to north, with respect to first north and then uh, to the right. I'll explain what I mean to right, okay, to the right. So whenever you have, so you start at town A, say this is town A, let me draw it here. So this is town, town A. So first to draw the bearing, you have to first draw the north. The north is always pointing upwards. Okay, that's by convention, that's north. So this is your north. And this is your point A. Now from here, the he helicopter flew at a bearing of 205 degrees. Okay, and just to explain, uh, Say this is your 90 degree, this is your 180 degree, and this is your 270 degree, and 360. So this is whole one circle. So 205, this is 90, this is 180, 205 would come somewhere, so where can I draw, yeah, somewhere here slightly, okay. So this is roughly, so I'll delete this. Okay, so let me delete it. So this is at a bearing of 205 degrees. And it flew for how many kilometers? 48 kilometers. So this is not drawn to scale. So this is 48 kilometers at a bearing of 205 degrees. So this is called, or this is at a bearing of 205 degrees. So this is your point, say, this is point B. Okay, so from A, the pilot flew to point B, 48 kilometers at a bearing of 205. That's done. Until reaching B, then head 64 kilometers east to point C. Now, east is always by convention to the right. Okay, so from B, the, the pilot went east. Okay, so this is your, so let me use a different color. This is east. And this is your point B, and this is your point A, okay? And he flew for how many kilometers? That's for, let me use green. So this is point C. This is your east. And this is your north. So this is point C, which is 64 kilometers east. And then what's happening? Before finally heading back, to the airport A at by the most direct route. So from again whenever you want to find the bearing. So this is again the north from here. Okay, so let me draw the north. So this is your north again from C. And the pilot flew directly from here to yeah. So this is the whole story. Okay, so again let me go over the story. This is point A, you started at point A, at a bearing of 205 degrees, reached point B, then he went directly east, okay, that is to the right, he reached point C, and he traveled 64 kilometers. So the question is, calculate the bearing the pilot, pilot must head, and the distance he must travel. So they are asking us, what is this distance? So this is what I, I want, and this is, this is the angle. 
this is the angle theta suppose let me say that is angle theta so okay so that is your theta angle and this is point C okay so what I'm going to do is we have to use trigonometry uh, to figure out X and theta so I'm going to drop a perpendicular from year to year to form a right angle triangle so now I've got a right angle triangle so this is a right angle triangle okay so we know that this much suppose let me delete this can I say this much this much is 180 degree so that we know this is 205 degrees so what I'm saying is this much is this is a half circle so this is 180 degree so this angle has to be 25 degrees because 180 plus 25 is 205 degrees because that's the total angle so this is 25 and this is 180 <coughs> so now let me name this as say A and this is B and this is C okay so one thing that we can see very clearly is A plus C is 64 A plus C is 64 so if I can find A I can find C okay so what do we know <coughs> this is angle and this is opposite and we, this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse okay so can I say sine 25 is opposite which is a over hypotenuse so let me draw, draw the so triangle or the mnemonic of so so is sine is opposite over so let me use the so triangle to get it so what is that we want we want to find the opposite so can I say O using the mnemonic of so O is equal to S stands for sine 25 times H now this is your hypotenuse so O is your A so you can say A is sine 25 times 48 okay so a would be we need a calculator so let us write so menu run my calculator has to be set on degrees first if you have a graphic calculator always make sure that this is set on uh, degrees before you start calculating and you can find that by going to shift setup and it's on degrees now okay so I'll go <coughs> sine 25 times 48 will give me my a which is 20.285 dot 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 or you can say 20 point okay I'll, let me so let me minimize this so I can say a is 20.285 meters okay now <clears throat> if I know A, I can find C. C is 64 minus A. Okay, so let me get the calculator. So which is 64 minus the answer. Okay, which is 43.71 uh, dot dot. So I'll not write the whole thing. 43.714. 714. So this is 43.714 dot 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 m. Okay, now oh. meters. Hmm? That is so in kilometers. So this is kilometers. This is also in kilometers. So we found A and C. So let us find B. So B is your adjacent. So we have to use car okay so let's use car so i can say a is cos 25 times h okay so a is b 
is cos 25 so let me scroll up a little cos 25 times again hypotenuse is 48 so this is uh, cos 48 times sorry cos 25 uh, delete cos 25 times 48 is 43.502 uh, kilometers so your B is 43.502 kilometers okay, so this is not the final answer so I'm not rounding it here so we'll do the rounding only at the end okay so <clears throat> now can we find this angle first so we know this the angle from year to year so I'll show this angle this angle is how many degrees this is 90 180 so this is 270 and say let us name this angle as say alpha so can you understand 270 plus alpha is equal to theta okay so if you know alpha we can find theta and that's what we want to find okay so yeah so you found c and b that will help you to find you can use pythagoras to figure out uh, x so let us do that so x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared okay so this is uh, what is my b so you can say b is 43 43.5 uh, squared plus C is uh, 43.7 squared okay that is enough so 43 point 43.5 43.5 squared plus 43.7 squared is and then you just find the square root so shift square root shift answer that will be 61.7 kilometers so i'll write this is 60 x is 61 61.7 61 kilometers so if you want to round it to the whole kilometer that is 62 kilometers okay to the whole kilometer 62 kilometers so now finally we have to find let me change color so now <clears throat> I'll so this you have the opposite and you have the adjacent you can use any trig ratio so I'm going to use B and C if for alpha this is the opposite and this is adjacent so I can say tan alpha is B over C so tan alpha that's my B my B is 43 point Pi divided by 43 point uh, what is my B okay that's my C, C is 43.7 okay so this is almost this will almost be 45 degrees because I know this is mm, the same okay so this is so alpha would be tan inverse of 43.5 divided by 43.7 okay so this is shift tan bracket 43.5 divided by 43.7 this is almost you can say 45 degrees so in bearings it's a convention to write in three numbers I'll round this to the whole degree which is 45 degrees so alpha is 45 degrees now we know theta is 270 degree plus 45 degree so this is 270 plus 45 degree and I think this is the longest video that I have ever made so this is 315 degrees so see you in the